Alright, here we are in the final part of Sonic CD, in this utopia of a last level. Yeah, I guess after all the levels in the game being restored to their good future, I guess the last one is a really, really good future. Let's call this the great future. So that's where the extra life is, really not that hard to find at all, and just like that, I have shown you every third act extra life in this entire game. So what we find over here is what makes this the hardest act in the game. What we experience right here is the only bottomless pit in Sonic CD. You will not find one anywhere else in this game, and I actually made extremely quick work of it as you can see. Um, but yeah, if you fall all the way down at that part, you will die. It works just like bottomless pits are supposed to. And they got some layer mechanics going on right here. It only shows itself once, but there's also this little strength test that they put you through right before you get to fight the final boss. These guys. And surprisingly, these guys actually seem to have my number. I can never seem to jump at just the right time to hit them. So, I actually end up getting hit by these guys a few times. But I keep saying these guys, there's just one of them, right? I mean, you only see this one? Well, just wait. Because once you defeat him, now you have to take on two of them. And I don't have any rings. So let's see how I can handle this. Not a problem. Okay, so two rings for the final boss, and here we go. This is Eggman's final attempt to stop Sonic in Sonic CD. He's spinning around on the ceiling with some kind of... I don't know, some kind of thing. I'm not exactly sure what kind of machine that is. But those four things you see around him are what you want to destroy. So this first hit, um, it's kind of a specific jump to make, and usually it, you'll get yourself hit. But right after you get hit, you're invincible. So just take advantage of that and hit him. But it is possible to make that first hit without getting hit by him. I just didn't manage to do it for the playthrough. So obviously once one of them is gone, he's much easier to hit, so the first hit is the hardest. And um, yeah, this is the final standoff. Eggman doesn't really seem too pissed off that all of the bad futures he created are now ruined and he's in a good future. But once he kills Sonic, all of those things will be easy to achieve. So for this final showdown, we're just fighting to survive. The future has already been fulfilled. So to rate the difficulty of this boss fight, just like the rest of the bosses in this game, it's a joke. And especially for the final boss. Seriously, it really doesn't feel like a final boss. It does not challenge you like a final boss would, and it only takes four hits. And it's not so hard to beat. Okay, so this whole place is exploding, and Sonic realizes, oh yeah, we still have Amy to save. And he's like, come on, let's go. And here's the final cutscene. And that's how Sonic CD ends. So we get a montage of Sonic fighting off these bad guys here, and I thought it would be a good place to say the rest of the stuff I would have to say about this game as the credits are going up. Yeah, it's really nice to have Sonic CD finally in the bag. Um, throughout this playthrough, I decided that I'm actually going to be doing another playthrough of Sonic CD somewhere in the future. Not quite yet. It's certainly not coming next. But the reason for doing that second playthrough, I'll be playing the Sega CD version. I'll be emulating it because I do not have a Sega CD and I do not plan on buying one. But I will be emulating it. And for that playthrough, instead of getting all the time stones, I'll be hunting down the robot generators to show off where those things are. Since there's two ways to achieve the good ending of this game, I just thought, why not have two playthroughs for it then? It's a good enough game for that, it has plenty of variety. And that's aside from the fact that this playthrough is getting an extra part at the end of it, that's to show off the differences between the Xbox 360 remaster and the original Sega CD version. So to talk about my history with this game real quick, I think this actually was the second Sonic game I ever got. I think I had the Sonic R and Sonic CD bundle for the PC, and 
that's how I got introduced to Sonic R. But the Sonic CD disc for that only worked a few times, and then I remember it stopped working after a while. So Sonic CD disappeared on me for a very, very long time. In fact, I think the next time I got to play it after that was when it came out on Sonic Gems Collection for the GameCube, and I remember I was so happy to have this game back after that, it was bittersweet. Because I was playing Sonic 1, 2, and 3 all those years, and this game, Sonic CD, it does a bunch of cool things that none of those games ever do, or any other game for the rest of the Sonic series. At least until Sonic Mania. So I guess that's how we'll wrap this playthrough up. Um, I'm still trying to improve the quality of my videos. I know a few parts of this playthrough were a bit blurry and my microphone is still showing all kinds of feedback, but that is just due to my limited computer power and my microphone being a cheap one. So those are things easily corrected which I will be fixing in the near future so my video quality will get much better. And these videos aren't viewing that much right now, so it is hard for me to tell if there actually is anyone watching these playthroughs beginning to end, but if there actually is, thank you. That makes me really happy to know, and I just want to let you know that the video and entertainment quality of this channel will improve tenfold, so thank you.